corner and I am back but hopefully for a while today we are going to do a quick easy Christmas card I got these stamps from Wish I think they are on Amazon also but it takes a while to get them in so I won't really have time to get them in before Christmas mostly from Wish but anyways I'm using watercolor paper, also watercolor paints, and stay zone ink. What won't smear? Here's an example of one. Well, one I've d just done, and we're gonna mat it like on a red, a red card, maybe. And see how this turns out. I don't know. But that's my idea. But I'm going to go from step to step. I messed up on the back side. See. I mean we're just normal people. It happens. I'm using my uh, Marie. Today. Because stamping on. Uh, watercolor paper to me. Is very hard to do. Maybe I'm just not good at it. I don't know. And like I said, I'm using Stay Zone, Black Stay Zone, whatever they call it. Jet Black, I don't know. I'm just making sure they really. Jet Black. And I'm going to stand up and press on my uh, Marie. And I'm not for sure what pound, I think I'm using 140 pound, but the brand name, I have no clue. It's some that I cut up a while back to make Christmas cards, and, uh, well, I ain't done it yet, and probably won't get it done. But I wanted to bring this short tutorial, how to do this real quickly. I've been asked. To do a few things lately, and my paint is the um, El Chica UL. It's U L O O C H I Inspire Paints off of Amazon that I got last week when I did my Amazon haul. Okay, first of all, just wet your whole entire paper with your brush. And use clean. I, I'm using clean water. I've got a deal that has three departments in it. One's to clean, and two's two's clean, and one is um to clean your brush. I'm going to use the Ultramarine and the um, Animal Blue for this. And I'm just going to mix it up on my palette, like so, and just run through this real quickly. And I'll probably do two or three coats of this, just like so, to get it the deepness of blue I want. Top's gonna be dark point and then it's just gonna fade like into the and my idea was when I done this a few weeks ago at crop I was like I said I was gonna make all my Christmas cards but it ain't happening this year. My health has for some of you knows my health has been really bad this year. Mostly after my weight loss surgery. I um I'm just now feeling like being back in the craft room and uh, feel like I might survive. <laughs> and if you have never had the weight loss surgery and you consider it, think twice about it. Believe you me, I wish. I love 
being 107 pounds light on but the head the health issues to me it it's a, a good toss up if it's one fit okay and this is dry this is still wet I'm going to move that out of my way I'm taking my heat gun and I'm going to just run over this real quickly to dry it. And it's just my embossing heat tool. I use it for everything. And once it starts drying, it will lay flat again. See how it's laying, it's dry. Like I said, I am not no, a watercolor artist. I'm a watercolor artist wannabe. So just bear with me. I am working on it. Some. Okay, I'm taking art glue, glue to glue this back down onto my red. Or then what I done was just cut out eight and a half by eleven and half. I think I want, I think I'm going to take a black marker or a black pen, my GT fine point, and I think I'm going to just do stitches around the sides of it. And I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. And I just grabbed the first pen I came to. And this is not sitting down too well because it ain't dry completely. Now your uh, GT G2s is not waterproof, y'all. I found that out the hard way. Okay, and then I'm going to put, we wish you a Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. and uh, we, I'm going to just, and I'm going to stick that on a piece of white cardstock, so I'm going to find a piece. I make like a flag and just add it to it. Now I'm going to just eyeball this and cut it out so it, this is not going to be straight. I promise you. Well, I say I am. I may not find a silver. If you see my desk, y'all would understand. I cleaned it off only this morning and it's already a mess. And I'm going to just put a little bit of art glue. I say I'm going to. Yeah. 
and let's see. Season. Here's Christmas. And then I'm going to stay up this one inside real quickly. And I'm about out of practice at doing videos, card making, any of that. Because It says, it is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. Who's got all those Christmas shopping done? Honey! Have you? Anyways. Yeah, I got paint on the back, back of it. But, so we have a, a quick Christmas card. That didn't take long. And if you make a dozen of them, you'll get fast dry, I promise you. But anyways, and you can change up the cone. I mean, you can make it darker if you want, whatever. I mean, it's your your creation, not mine. But I like this one. See my mask on the back? But anyways, y'all have a good, if I don't talk to you before, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love y'all. Have a great blessed day. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us below. Visit us at angiecraftcorner.com. And we'll see you next time. Have a blessed, blessed day.